A look inside the sun? The Solar Orbiter spacecraft examined an unknown part of the star's atmosphere. Welcome to the Space Diary channel. Before watching, I want to ask you to help our channel by liking and subscribing. Astronomers have seen the sun in a completely new way, thanks to a change in the shooting mode of one of the spacecraft's main instruments. The European Space Agency's ESA, Solar Orbiter spacecraft, has looked into previously unexplored parts of the solar atmosphere by changing the imaging mode of its main camera. Previously, this part of the atmosphere was almost impossible to study well, but now the spacecraft was able to see a million times weaker, ultraviolet light coming from the sun's corona. The Solar Orbiter spacecraft which has been observing the Sun since 2020, has 10 instruments, and has been able to reveal many of its secrets during its operation. This is especially true of the detection of very small flares in the Sun's corona, as well as the likely mechanism that causes the solar wind. Now, scientists have changed the shooting mode of one of the spacecraft's most powerful cameras, the Extreme Ultraviolet Imager, which studies the most energetic parts of the sun's ultraviolet light. This made it possible to see a million times weaker ultraviolet light in the sun's corona. Thanks to this light, astronomers can study the most interesting phenomena that occur at the border between the sun's atmosphere and the star's surface. According to ESS scientists, this part of the sun's atmosphere has never been seen properly, but now it is. The scientists added a small, what they called a protruding thumb to the camera shutter. When the shutter is opened only halfway, this thumb covers the solar disk, allowing the extreme ultraviolet imager to see the faint light of the sun's atmosphere in high resolution. To create a video with the results of the observations, the scientists combined the solar orbiter photos with images of the star taken by NASA's Stereo spacecraft. It so happened that both spacecraft observed the Sun at the same angle, so scientists were able to obtain the highest detail of the processes occurring in the Sun's atmosphere and on its surface. The most distant parts of the Sun's atmosphere, i.e. its corona, are well observed from Earth during total solar eclipses. However, the Solar Orbiter camera's new Imagic mode has allowed scientists to look into parts of the atmosphere that are much closer to the Sun's surface. The Extreme Ultraviolet Imager camera can take very high resolution images, and while some ground-based telescopes can study the surface of the Sun with even greater resolution, they cannot observe the high-energy ultraviolet light seen by the Solar Orbiter camera. This is because this light is absorbed by the Earth's atmosphere before it reaches the telescopes. On the other hand, Solar Orbiter, which flies in space, sees our star much better. According to scientists from ESA, in the near future, the spacecraft will be able to take the closest images of the Sun, and for the first time in history, it will also take images of the polar regions of the star. Scientists hope that studying these regions at close range will help to find out what forces control the sun's magnetic field. It is responsible for the appearance of spots on the sun, where solar flares and plasma eruptions appear. Was this video interesting for you? Please share your opinion in the comments below. Thank you for watching and see you tomorrow for more interesting videos.